beefed up Geordie Barrett wants to be bigger, faster and stronger in Kane's return. A beefed up Geordie Barrett is so close he can practically touch it, Joe Moody not quite so much. But for both the injured All Blacks, preparing to return to the field after off-season shoulder surgeries, the long process of repair, rehabilitation and rebuilding fitness is nearly at an end. Barrett, one of the finds of the 2017 season and a young man of extraordinary talent, hopes to hit the park for the Hurricanes in round three of the new Super Rugby season, all going to plan, and team requirements. He is just entering his first week of full contact training. Moody has to be a little more patient. His strength requirements are a little higher. His timetable has been a little more elongated. The rugged 29-year-old, 31 Test loose head prop is aiming at an April introduction for the Crusaders in the defence of their Super Rugby crown. Both were part of Monday's Super Rugby launch in Auckland and spoke about their mindsets as they approach the new season with ground to make back up after their enforced absences from the All Blacks over the back part of 2017. I'm pretty excited and pretty nervous as well, said Barrett who had his shoulder surgery in late August after a dislocation and significant ligament damage in the Hurricane Super Rugby semi-final defeat in Johannesburg. There is obviously going to be a little bit of doubt, but as soon as I get the confidence that it's good and it's healthy and strong, it'll be away. Barrett has tried to use his extended off-season productively. As well as throwing himself into some extra university study and spending some bonus family time, the 20-year-old has barred on 6 to 7 kilograms of muscle which might prove useful for what he has in mind for 2018. That was always the plan from our trainers, he said of the beefing up. It was just try to get a bit bigger, stronger and hopefully faster. I'm happy I've done that. Hopefully it makes me more durable and able to work through contact. It could suit me if I wanted to play in midfield. That's in the back of my mind, having played there in age grade stuff. Hopefully it's a positive and I don't feel sluggish. Given the adaptability and depth in the Canes back line, any chance for Barra to shift between fullback, where he was so effective last year, and midfield could be vital. With his skill, length and natural flair, a power increase could take him next level. But for now he is setting simple goals for himself, and not fretting too much about repeating his standout deeds of 2017. Immensely fresh and raring to go. I just want to get back out on the field and be healthy enough to play and be available for selection. If I play well that's a bonus. Moody, like Barrett, watched with interest at the proficient manner the All Blacks coped in his absence in 2017 and says it has only increased his desire to return bigger, better and stronger. There is no opportunity for me to be slacking off because I know nothing is a given because there is that depth there among the props. I definitely need to keep going hard and chip away to earn that spot back. Moody said his range of motion was nearly back to normal and he was enthused about re-entering the team environment at the Crusaders. It has been pretty tough doing all my training and rehab by myself. I hate doing all the conditioning and running blocks as a lone ranger, but I'm well aware that's going to be a big factor in getting back on the park, and back in good nick. With fellow All Black prop Owen Franks on a similar return timetable, and Israel Dagan and Reid also working on their own rehab plans, 
The Crusaders seem set to benefit from a welcome injection of all black talent through the competition. The walking wounded are certainly well motivated as they plot their returns.